Now it's time to unbox the Precision 7670. Opening up the box, while we don't get that gift box format of the Precision 5000 series, we can still see all the packaging is carefully considered and made from 100% renewable and recyclable plastics. Even those frustrating cable ties you used to get on the power cables replaced with cardboard and the bag that the machine arrives in made from shredded plastic. So the Precision 7670 is actually a new form factor for 2022. This time with a 16 inch screen and a 16 by 10 ratio, different slightly from the previous generation where we used to have a 16 by 9 ratio on the 15.6 inch screens. This just means that we get a bit more usable space on screen and have to scroll less to access that space. You might be thinking I don't want a larger laptop, but due to the significantly narrower bezels on this model, we get the same footprint as a 15.6 inch machine. Crucially, the 7670 features Intel's latest 12th generation HX CPUs up to 16 cores, and that's double that of the previous generation, and can also feature GPU options up to the NVIDIA RTX A5500. There are actually two different versions of this chassis, a light chassis supporting up to the NVIDIA RTX A2008 GB graphics card, and the performance chassis with a slightly thicker base supporting up to the NVIDIA RTX A5500 16GB card. This makes the performance chassis better suited to the more challenging datasets and visualization workflows. And with the performance chassis also featuring up to three SSD drives and 12 terabytes in total. This generation sees a complete redesign along with Dell's dual opposed output fans to help cool in those ever more powerful components and closing the gap between this machine and its 17.3 inch sibling. The thin chassis comes with a 180 watt power supply and the performance chassis comes with a 240 watt power supply. That's up 60 watts on the previous generation and just displays how much more capable this machine can be when supplied with the most powerful components. It's great to see the power supplies have shrunk significantly from the previous generation as well and that's all due to gallium nitrate technology which frankly sounds cool and is saving you space and weight when on the move. So the chassis redesign of this generation has resulted in all of the ports being moved to the sides of the machine, with your power cable, wired Ethernet, HDMI, USB-A, and two Thunderbolt 4 USB-C ports on this side. On the opposite side, we have another USB-A, USB-C, and the default 3.5mm audio jack. That just results in the entire back of the machine being left to a hot air exhaust for optimum cooling and optimum performance. Alongside this, we have the option of 128GB of DDR5 RAM, in which Dell have partnered with Intel yet again to innovate, resulting in a new memory module called CAM, that's C-A-M-M, which they hope will be adopted industry-wide. This new single card design is made to scale, reduce bottlenecks as the speed of RAM increases, and also results in either thinner machines or more space left to crucial components or cooling. This does mean that our recommendation is to ensure that you specify enough RAM when the machine is initially ordered. That just means that you're not going to have to remove the old card to replace it with a higher capacity option. The 7670 provides desktop replacement levels of performance for a range of CAD and CAE workflows such as simulation and visualization. 